Today on Spotlight, dead pixels. Ah yes, the fad that I'm totally cool with, making everything pixelated, harkening back to the retro feel of the 80s and 90s. Dead Pixels describes itself as an 8-bit zombie sim, and this time the culprit of the outbreak is toxic waste. Well, at least it's not another mad cow disease on crack scenario developed by some shady mega corporation or some government conglomerate. The gameplay is pretty straightforward. Advance, kill zombies, loot buildings, visit shops, that sort of thing. Inventory items consist of guns, throwable weapons, usable items, and valuables. Usually I sell most of my stuff and just focus on keeping my shotgun and rifle ammunition up. You can also improve your character's stats by purchasing upgrades. Psst, hey, get the movement speed upgrade. You'll thank me later. The upgrades are all pretty steep in price, but from what I can tell, they're worth it. There's two ways to make bank in this game. Loot buildings for valuables, or kill zombies. In my experience, it's better to loot buildings. Kill zombies when you can, but don't try to grind. The money you get from the zombies will probably just cover the bullets you use to kill them, which leaves nothing left for upgrades. Stylistically, the retro feel of Dead Pixels works in its favor. The sound effects, the particles, it feels like a game I would have loved to play back in the 90s. So at this point, you might be saying to yourself, you just move right and shoot zombies? What's so special about that? Um, nothing really, but it's only a $3 game, and at least it plays smoothly. I haven't run into a single bug, the controls for the most part make sense, and I can't say I didn't have fun while playing it. I'd say it's definitely worth the price. Check it out if you got some spare change in your Steam wall.